Trish has found herself one of my favorite things. A mushroom. Well, it's not exactly a mushroom. It's not. Well, it is a fruiting body of a fungus. It is indeed, and it is called a puffball. Now we get two types of puffballs. We get a stalked puffball, and we get a ground puffball. Now, you can see that it clearly doesn't have a stalk, so it's probably one of the ground ones. But there's also the earth ball, which I didn't think about, which it could possibly also be, since it was on the ground. So here we have the earth ball. We'll turn this around and we are going to blow the spores that are from here onto this piece of paper because spore print can tell us a lot about the species. Okay, let's try and do it on the paper and see if we get any result. Okay, so let's put that down there. That area there, those are the spores. They're tiny, absolutely microscopic. It seems to be brown, browny purple spore print, which is you get all sorts of colors in spore print. Ooh, brown to olivaceous? Could be. I think brown to olivaceous is not a bad... Okay, it's definitely not rust brown. Let's see what the last possibility is. Yellow, brown, no. So I think that we have a common earth ball. But the reason this thing is not puffing very, very much is because it still seems to be quite uh, immature or not quite mature normally if it's a mature one the impact of rain hitting down on this part here will actually get the spores to pop out and now me just doing this is not even helping maybe let's see yay maybe one more Woo! there we go there we go 